I am back. Welcome to my what I'm reading right now video. These are weekly videos I do. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy. But I want to update you because last week I talked about a book and then this week it's not doing as well as I thought it was. And that is Powerless. Now I was gifted this book and I initially had it on a library hold and I wish I'd kept it as a library hold. I cancelled the hold as soon as I got this for obvious reasons like I've got it in person now. But I wish that I kept it as an audiobook because honestly these characters are annoying me so much that I wish I could just listen to them rather than actively have to focus on a page and read about them. I go over a synopsis in my other video so if you want to know what this is about then I talk about it very clearly there. But I feel like I need to give you an example of the writing so that you know what I mean. It reads very much like a older fantasy that's got a little bit more like pretentiousness or arrogance or self-righteousness. I don't know how to describe it. It's just a little repetitive in some parts like on literally on page one uh, she's going, the smell of soot stings my nose, forcing me to clamp a grimy hand over it to stop a sneeze from slipping out. And then in italics, the line below it is, that'd be a very pathetic way of getting caught. And after that, she says, when I'm sure that my nose won't alert the Imperials lurking beneath where I'm hiding. It just seems, I don't know, maybe I'm being really picky, but I feel like I've outgrown this style of writing. That's kind of a poor example, I think, but that style is throughout the story in her perspective and the main guy's perspective. And I'm just a little bit tired. I'm 36 pages into it. So I think this might end up putting me into a reading slump because I'm already avoiding reading it. And I know that means that I should DNF it now, but because it was gifted to me, I feel like I need to actually finish it. That's the rule, right? If it's given to you and it's someone else's favorite book, you need to finish it. So that's what I'm getting hung up on here, which is annoying because I thought this would be a fast paced, intriguing story about a magical trial and rebellion. And it probably still is those things, but I can already tell you now that the main character is an ordinary. And that means that in this world, she has no magic, but her mother was an ordinary, her father wasn't, and she's got silver hair. And in this story, magic users have sometimes got different colored hair. So I bet at the end she's got like lightning powers or something because if her father wasn't ordinary, surely she's got that genetic in her and it just hasn't woken up yet. The trials are probably going to wake it up. So I can already see where it's going. And because I don't like the writing style, I'm skeptical and annoyed about it rather than intrigued, which is disappointing. I'll either sit down and power through this, ironically powerless, I'll power through this and finish it ASAP or I will put it down. We'll find out at the next update I do, probably in this video actually. My audiobook is very much my saving grace because I'm rereading Oathbringer at the moment and I read a little bit more over the weekend. So I'm having a good time with this, obviously. I'm writing down all my quotes. I'll show you how many pages I'm actually through it equivalent to the audiobook that I'm listening to because that gives you a bit of an indication of where it is. At the moment I've got roughly like 18 or 19 hours left to go and I listen at like two, two and a half speed. So I'm getting through it. I'm making headway. It's just a very long book. And then I got a bit of FOMO because I saw people talking about this author a lot and I've tried Nettle and Bone by T. Kingfisher and I put it down because I didn't like it. But I then picked up What Moves the Dead, which is a book that everyone's talking about at the moment because obviously with Halloween season and it's like a five hour audiobook. I'm guessing I could smash that out pretty fast if I like it. And it's almost an Edgar Allan Poe retelling, kind of like the show, The Fall of the House of Usher. And I liked that show. So I'm hoping that I end up liking this book. But yeah, again, T. Kingfish is a little bit iffy with my reading taste. I feel like some of her stuff I might like and some of it I don't, mostly because I'm not a huge fairy tale reader and some of her work can be like horror leaning into fantasy and the fairy tale aspect. But hopefully this goes the other way and it's more like just horror fantasy-ish rather than fairy tale esque So we'll see how we go. If I like it, I'll let you know. So those are my kind of eh, except for Oathbringer, the eh things that I'm reading right now. I've very much got a mixed bag at the moment, but we'll see what happens at the end of the week. So you might've seen this coming, but I ended up putting Powerless down. I could not, I just could not do it. These characters were just too frustrating to me. I can acknowledge that if you're new into fantasy, then this one might be something you'd like. For me, I just could not stand it. So I put it down with still three hours left of the audiobook, And I was right. I think it's put me in some kind of reading slump. Then I did try reading What Moves the Dead. And this is a Edgar Allan Poe somewhat retelling. And it's about a soldier and they return to the mansion of their childhood friend because they've heard their childhood friend Madeline Usher is dying. And then when they get there, I think 
there's something to do with nature is going on. It's kind of horror focused. Beyond that, I'm not sure because I got 11% into this and I just don't think the style of it is for me. I didn't mind the narrative voice. I found the writing fine, but as I was listening to it, I was thinking this is probably about a three stars and I want a four or five. So I put it down because I knew that I wasn't going to absolutely love it. But as far as the book goes, I'm sure it was fine. It just was not what I wanted to be reading. So I've had a bit of a meh end of the week, which I was kind of anticipating, hoping that it didn't happen, but kind of anticipating. And then I've read more of Oathbringer. So I'm about like this far in and this is not that far. <laughs> I'm like 300 pages and the book is over 1200. And I am still really enjoying myself and taking notes, but at the same time, my brain just did not want to focus on reading. And I know that I'm in a slump when I'm listening to a book that is five stars and I'm getting distracted and not paying attention. So something about my brain right now is like, I don't want to read. And so I've gone to watch some TV instead. So I finished the third season of Heartstopper, which I absolutely loved and it made me cry so much. And I'm also watching 911 Lone Star. So I'm diverting from reading a little bit at the moment and then I'll circle back to it shortly because I do really want to finish this and I've been banging on about how I really want to finish this. And I've actually tried to do that this week, but my brain has had other ideas. So going forward, I don't know what my next reads are going to be. This is really the priority. And then anything on my October TBR video, I might end up picking up as well around this, obviously. But this really takes precedent because I'm running out of time to also finish Rhythm of War before the fifth book comes out in December. So I need to rock it on this. But that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoy my weekly updates. And I'll talk to you in the comments and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.